court has not said and it did not say that these people have a right to marry. The right to association, and you can read here, right to form an association. under 30, 36, yes. it says every person has this the right. Just a minute. Association. Let me I read know. it. I've read it. No, you, don't, you have not read it. Let yes. me read it for you. <laughs> every person has the right to freedom of association, which includes the right to form, join, or participate in the activities of an association of any kind. Yeah. Now, for me, Trevor, this discussion is a total distraction. We want to move the focus of the nation from the kitchen where people are unable to feed their families, we want to move the discussion to the bedroom. It is absolutely ridiculous. But I understand the people who need that distraction because these other conversations about cost of uh, living, cost of energy, are very difficult uh, conversations to have. Number two, it has exposed very serious hypocrisy. When we were protesting the decision of the Supreme Court, they were telling us that this is the highest court in the land, the matter is over. Now people are discussing, oh, we, can, we are going to appeal, CG review. You cannot appeal the decision of the Supreme Court. It is the highest court in the land. Another one was saying on the floor of the House yesterday in the, in the National Assembly that they are going to bring a censure motion against the Supreme Court. When we say the very same thing about the result of the presidential election, these people tell us to shut up, including the church. Number three, the hypocrisy. When you hear my brother here quoting Bible verses and uh, African culture, and he comes from Marraquette, <laughs> he will have a very serious difficulty discussing African culture in the context of the Marraquet because there are very serious problems, including early marriage of children, uh, FGM, which are very uncomfortable subjects for him. He quotes Leviticus. There is a, a senator, uh, Gloria Oroba, who has brought a motion on period shaming. In fact, if Gloria wants to solve the, the problem of uh, uh, period shaming, he should go back to the origin. Where did it start? It started in the book of Leviticus. The book of Leviticus is, is basically period shaming, that a woman during that period of the month cannot even attend ch uh, church or go to holy places, and if she does, she should be stoned to death. That's the Leviticus he wants to quote for us here. <laughs> so I'm telling you, uh, uh, Trevor, this debate has to ha be had by people who are sober. Many of these members of parliament, they are just making noise here. We have seen even in the US, people in Congress who are the loudest opponents of uh, uh, same-sex marriages were caught later in scandals and revealed to be closet, uh, closeted homosexuals. Some of these people are raising homosexual children. They don't even know it because they don't want to have a conversation. I agree that as a traditional African society, Things take time for us to be able to appreciate them. Probably the problem with the, the gay movement, at least in Kenya, is that they want things to happen now and happen immediately. You see, there was a time in 2008, the first time when uh, President Obama was, uh, was elected. He himself was against gay marriage. And I remember one of his first interviews, yeah. he was asked and he said his views were evolving. Societies take time to appreciate some of these things. It is the same debate with marijuana. It is the same debate with uh, homosexuals. What we need to do so, yeah. is to remove the hypocrisy yeah, from this particular debate and have a sober debate about the issues around this matter. All right.